the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. In this video, we're going to talk about Nexus Chain, which is a layer 2 blockchain that I'm particularly bullish on. Not many people know about this particular project at the time of recording this video, um, but this is very undervalued in my opinion. And I see a huge run coming for layer 2 projects in this up and coming bull run. So this is a project that we're going to get into recently um, in the middle of March. Ethereum had an it was something that we, which is called the uh, the Ethereum Denkun upgrade, okay, guys, which is a hard fork intended to improve the network scalability and efficiency while reducing transaction fees across L2 networks, okay, guys, passing the savings to the end user. So I see this, you know, if you think about Arbitrum, uh, Optimism, various layer twos, all right, guys, we're going to see them perform really well okay guys ethereum's already at a price point that it's not going to be attractive to a lot of degen investors okay guys but you know the layer twos uh you know there's a lot more upside for layer twos okay guys so you know while many people are migrating over to solana and base chain uh, which are going to do really well uh, that being said right um ethereum is not dead and um we're going to see layer twos um get a lot of that of volume uh, which is intended for the Ethereum network. Okay, guys. So with Nexus Chain, um, why I like this particular project uh, in particular. Okay, guys. Um, if we start here, it's, it's for developers. Okay, guys. So um, obviously, uh, when people are looking for somewhere cheap, somewhere fast uh, to scale their projects, to build, uh, you know, their 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 actual new projects. Um, you know, it's it, all of these things matter okay guys so reduced costs are going to be one thing that people are going to be looking for developers are going to be looking for okay guys and uh, that's something that you get with nexus chain as well as the ethereum upgrade okay guys cheaper fees overall when nexus chain claims to be uh very cheap offering low fees but not only that okay guys um you can actually pay uh transaction fees in any uh, any standard token improving accessibility okay guys so this is pretty much a huge thing if you can pay your gas fees or your transaction fees right in any token let's say you got a token you're not really that bothered about you want to pay your fees in that token right um you can actually do that with nexus okay guys nexus chain ensures high throughput and scalability with quick transaction finality um, and fully compatible with ethereum the nexus chain uh, supports seamless dap migration so if people are looking for somewhere to migrate uh, their project to this could be a solution for them i know it's very early uh, for this type of project okay guys but it, it is it does really have a you know a a use space in a, a use case in the market at the moment so they have a fixed base gas fee model which ensures predictable transaction costs with options for priority fees and again you can use any token standard to basically uh, transact those fees if i'm getting that if if i'm not mistaken on that right that's basically what it says on the website okay guys now this project is sitting at a very low market cap at 24.3 million at the time of recording this video with a very strong liquidity at 1.3 million 8.15k holders as well the circulating supply is 500 million okay and uh, if we go on info, uh, it is the total supply as well. So this is fully circulating. 100% of the supply is circulating. So there's going to be no, you know, there's going to be no airdrops. There's going to be no, um, you know, uh, 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 vesting schedule for team tokens and all that sort of stuff coming along the line, right? There's going to be no nasty surprises when it comes to the price. And it looks like it was a fair launch as well. So this one is sitting at a very nice um it's in a very nice position when it comes to uh tokenomics right and you know whether this is a good investment or not okay in my opinion it is and uh, a lot of people are going to start talking about this particular project okay um their devnet releases on the 3rd of april okay 2024 and not only that they're going to be having uh you know uh grants okay developer grants uh, which they have here two percent goes for developer grants okay guys in order to onboard developers onto the chain that will obviously be huge for the network um and huge for the price of this particular token so 
the fact that the DevNet is just around the corner as well, it's currently in testnet phase, right? I mean, it's not main yet. It's, it's not hit the main net yet, okay, guys? So that is open to a lot of speculation when it comes to price. A lot of people want to buy it before that time comes. And so this looks like an attractive uh, investment uh, from that standpoint, okay, guys? So in my opinion, you know, this is a very good investment. It's not financial advice, of course, okay? And this is a, you know, it's, it's a micro cap at the end of the day. So this could go to zero, you never know, all right, guys? But the way the chart looks is in an accumulation phase. And, you know, in my opinion, this goes higher. This goes higher, okay, guys? And, you know, ultimately, uh, you know, will layer twos perform well? That's the question, right? Um, you know, imagine being in Arbitrum or Optimism or, you know, some other layer two, you know, early. Okay, guys, now at 24 million, right? If we look at something like uh, Optimism, right? Let's go and have a look at Optimism. And I'm not comparing this with Optimism at the end of the day because Optimism is way ahead of the game, you know, and Optimism is going to perform well in the Layer 2 narrative just because of the simple fact that Coinbase is using the OP stack. Uh, there is no base token. So this is going to be the... Uh, the blockchain that people are going to invest in or the layer two, right? Uh, if they want exposure to base chain, if they're not buying base on, you know, the traditional markets, right? So, you know, optimism is sitting at 3.9 billion in market cap. Okay, now a lot of the legwork was done on these layer two projects like optimism and arbitrum, right? If we go to Arb, uh, arbitrum, um, uh, they're sitting at 4.5 million, right? A lot of the legwork was done beforehand and they had a lot more, um, you know, user base, a lot more of a user base when it comes to developers and things like that. They did massive airdrops, okay? So their marketing campaign is a lot more aggressive and a lot more, you know, um, higher tier than Nexus, right? But so I'm not comparing uh, Nexus with these particular uh, uh, layer twos, right? But I'm just look I'm just showing you you know, the scale of uh, interest when it comes to a layer two, right? A 4.6 billion with an optimism at a 3.5 billion, right? Layer twos are actually huge and they're very useful and they onboard a lot of users into uh, that chain. Okay, guys, so if Nexus can scale up and, you know, really, you know, deliver this project, deliver this tool, right? Um... You know, this could be huge. You know, this could be a very early opportunity investment and we could see massive gains out of this particular token, potentially, right? Not financial advice, but um, I like it. Okay, guys. And, um, you know, ultimately, you could put a very small amount of investment into something like Nexus uh, and it could potentially turn into a lot. Okay, that's that's the ultimate goal here is to make money. You know, I'm not one of those people that's, you know, just wants to invest in the technology. Okay, guys, I'm here to make money. Uh, all right, guys. Another thing is, is they actually uh, recently just launched on uh, on a, on an exchange, MEXC. Okay, guys, so they listed on MEXC Global, I believe, at some point today. Um, trading starts the 25th. Okay, it was yesterday. Okay, so this actually launched on MEXC yesterday. So, you know, uh, that's definitely going to bring a lot more volume into this project. And, you know, ultimately, uh, you know, when one exchange lists, the rest will follow. You know, this will get on some more exchanges. And obviously, that will be good for the price as well. So, buying this on chain, right, uh, before... It gets listed on all the major exchanges is also another, um, you know, value proposition for uh, this particular project. Okay, guys, it's listed on CoinMarketCap uh, and CoinGecko and all that sort of stuff. Okay, it's now on MEXC and I see a lot more exchanges coming here. Um, a lot of time MEXC does front run a lot of the other exchanges and list these kind of tokens and we see them perform well. Um, it's basically about getting them before everyone else does. And that's what it comes down to. Okay, guys. So, you know, uh, 
I don't recommend buying on MEXC. I recommend buying it on chain. Um, MEXC has been known to freeze people's funds as, and things like that, or so I've heard, right? Like, I used to talk about them um, a little while back and used to pick up a lot of tokens over there. But since I heard people getting funds frozen, you know, I do prefer to buy it on chain um, rather than use MEXC. But there are a lot of gems on there that a lot of people uh, don't have access to elsewhere. Um, but ultimately, they are a good exchange. But um, and it, this is not an MEXC shield anyway. They are a good exchange, and they list. You know, they do take notice of uh, the lower cap tokens, and you know, front run the rest of the market. Okay, guys. So again, I see a lot of a lot more exchanges listing this. A lot bigger, higher tier exchanges. Think about like KuCoin, Gate.io, um, you know, Bitmart, and and of course you get your higher tier exchanges like Binance and and so on. Okay, guys. So. Uh, I like Nexus at the price point that it's at. Um, I see this going into the hundreds of millions. Um, and we've already gave, given you the comparison between uh, Optimism and Arbitrum. You know, this could potentially hit billions. I'm not saying it's going to hit billions. Uh, but there's a potential for that. Uh, especially for the simple fact that we are in a bull market now. Okay, guys. So, you know, anything that has some signs of promise should actually give you those gains, in my opinion. Okay, guys, so there's my thoughts on Nexus. Um, I see it going higher, sitting at 24 million again uh, at the time of recording this video. So do we see higher prices for this particular project? The testnet is around the corner, or sorry, the devnet is around the corner. Um, I didn't talk about the the, um, the the actual transaction speed, right? We, uh, uh, but you know it's two seconds as it says here right average block time 0 0.04 milliseconds um so it seems pretty quick uh, from what it's showing here but of course um you'd have to kind of figure that out yourself on the test net um i haven't used the test net okay um but um we have the dev net approaching and um you know ultimately time will tell you know, if people want to start building and launching projects on this platform, uh, this could turn out to be something, uh, something pretty big. Okay, guys. So that's really all I've got for you in this video. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Tick the little bell for notifications. Uh, like the video, which helps with the YouTube algorithm. I did this call, uh, call this out to the Patreons about a week ago. Uh, so um, you know, uh, link is in the description if you want to jump into Patreon. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.